Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne. I'm here today with another Guthrie and Garney Sewing Society unboxing video for you. Just before we get started with that, a couple of things. I'm wearing the Megan Nielsen Cara top, which is a maternity top, in this beautiful floral cotton jersey which I got from Material Girl Laura. I've just got a ready to wear maternity jumpsuit on over the top. In the background on my mannequin you can see the closet case ebony tea which is made in viscose jersey from Liberty which I bought from Guthrie and Garney. So in April I got my first Guthrie and Garney Sewing Society kit and I filmed an unboxing video. We will link to it because in that video there's lots of information about what the Sewing Society is and sort of sharing the different elements of it and how you can get involved. So do check that video out. Then in May there wasn't a subscription box that you could access because of supply issues. So then in June I was really looking forward to seeing what the patterns were for this month. So this month there were two different pattern options for you to choose from. There was the Ogden Cami by True Bias or the Eve Trousers by Merchant and Mills. I'd actually never seen this trouser pattern before and I think it's a really lovely pattern but it's not suitable for me at the moment because obviously I am 37 weeks pregnant now and I won't be making or wearing like fitted trousers with a, a fitted waistband for quite some time. So I was interested in the Ogden Cami. I've made the Ogden Cami before, I've got the pattern already, I've made four of them. Hi Ziggy. And I've also made a dress hack of it, so I'm quite experienced with the Ogden Cami. However, I still went ahead and bought the box and I'll explain why. So there were three different fabric options for the Ogden Cami and I loved all of them. They were all Dashwood Studio rayon fabrics that I'd actually had my eye on anyway. So I was immediately drawn to those fabrics. Also, as I mentioned in my unboxing video last time, if you already own the pattern, you can just pop a note in your order to say, I've already got the pattern, can you please swap it for? And then you can choose any other patterns by that same pattern designer. And I already had my eye on a couple of True Bias patterns. So I thought it made sense to go ahead and get the kit, but to swap the pattern for one of the other patterns that I had my eye on. So that's what I did. It's always a bit of a mad dash to get your order in for the Sewing Society kits because they are so popular. So I would recommend if you are interested that you sign up to the emails on the Guthrie and Garney website to make sure that you're notified. They go on sale at 12 p.m. so midday GMT on the first Wednesday of every month and often they're sold out within a couple of hours. Now Guthrie and Garney do their best to then put more kits on sale by sourcing more patterns and I know with the Ogden Cami pattern this month they managed to put more kits on sale by selling the A0 copies of the pattern alongside the, pr the printed booklet rather than the original paper pattern. So they did find a way around sort of catering for more people. But like I say, if you are interested, get yourself signed up to the emails and you'll be notified and you can get your order in it straight away. I know if you're elsewhere in the world, obviously you would have to put an alarm on to wake you up at a certain time but I think it's worth it. So fast forward a week and one day, so eight days after I placed my order and my box arrived. So this is it, a lovely, lovely box. I mean, it's a nice sturdy box with the Guthrie and Garney Sewing Society sticker on there. Now I have already opened this, but this is what you had inside. It was all beautifully wrapped in this tissue paper, but I've found my way into there. I'm gonna pop this on the floor now because I think the cats will enjoy that box. So like I mentioned, there were three different fabric options for the Ogden Cami. Two were the same design, but in a different colorway. And then there was a third design. <laughs> so the design that I went for is called Birds of Paradise. And let's see if I can it. It's this. Really beautiful. So we've got a really dark navy background with these incredible birds and flowers and leaves all over 
and it's just a really lovely design that will make a beautiful Ogden cami. You can see the drape of that and it's also completely opaque which is lovely. In the Ogden cami pattern for the different sizes the fabric requirements go up to something like 1.8 meters or maybe more but in the sewing society boxes they only provide 1.1 meters of the fabric and that's to cover all sizes and the reason is Lauren in her video that goes alongside the kit shows you a different way of setting out your pattern pieces so a different lay plan to make the most of your fabric and to get the Ogden cami out of a much smaller amount of fabric no matter what size you're cutting out so that's really fantastic so that was the fabric that's oh that's just a delivery note with my order details on the back then you get yourself a little postcard that on the back has space for you to make notes for all the different things that you might need during the making of the pattern so your measurements the size you've chosen the pattern name the fabric details the notions you've used and any notes for next time so you can keep that and pop it with your pattern and when it comes to the next time you want to make it you're reminded of any changes you made or anything like that then you get a little bag with your bits and bobs in now you didn't need much for the Ogden cami if you watched my last unboxing video I had all sorts of bits and bobs that came with it because it was for the Kelly Anorak by Closet Case Patterns which had a huge amount of hardware and things like that for the Ogden cami you don't need very much at all so you get a lovely little label to sew in which you get every month whichever box you opt for it says made by me with G and G you then get thread to match your fabrics this is a lovely dark navy color you get a set of needles now this month it is universal needles and then you also get some forming tape interfacing which you use for the Ogden cami instead of stay stitching round the neckline on the front and the back if you've watched my channel for a while I have talked about this before but my dressmaking journey really began when I attended a sewing workshop weekend at Guthrie and Garney two years ago and the Ogden cami was one of the garments that I made so I picked up a lot of tips from Lauren while I was there and this forming tape interfacing was one of the tips that I learned so I've been using that ever since she also showed me a different cutting layout to the one that was in the pattern again something that's in her video this month and I learned how to do a really neat narrow rolled hem on fine fabric again that's something that she shows you in the video this month so I mean I probably didn't need to buy the kit this month but I thought it was still worthwhile because you get access to that lovely video you get the fabric which I loved anyway you get the things that go alongside it you get a pattern and I'll show you my pattern choice in a moment but I also just love that excitement of receiving something in the post I just find it really thrilling <laughs> the pattern that I went for in place of the Ogden cami pattern was this one and it's the Yari jumpsuit which I've admired for quite some time but never actually gone for and I just thought this was the perfect opportunity I think this is going to be a really great pattern for me post baby so a few weeks after I've had my baby and you know I'm starting to see what my body might start to look like it's loose fitting it's not too tight it's got buttons down the front so I can still have access for breastfeeding the baby and I just think it's going to be a really fantastic garment for me to make it comes as a full length trouser jumpsuit or you can make it as a shorts play suit as well so I'm really pleased that I've got my hands on that pattern at last in terms of making my Ogden cami I'm probably going to wait until after the baby has been born because I've got a sizable bump at the moment and therefore I would have to make 
the cami a lot bigger at the front than I probably need it to be. So I'm going to wait a few weeks and then I will make my Ogden cami. I'll probably make it with tie straps so I can tie them or untie them at the shoulder again to have access for breastfeeding. But I'll definitely be showing you once I do make it. If you are interested in joining the sewing society, buying any of the boxes, or if you've had one of the boxes before, you can join a Facebook group. The Facebook group is called the G&G &G Sewing Society Members Group. I'm not sure if it's searchable on Facebook, you could try searching that, or you could email Guthrie and Garney and I'm sure they would send you a link so you can join that group as well. It's really nice, people go on and show their progress, show their makes from the different boxes and chat. Also Guthrie and Garney go on there and ask for suggestions of what patterns you might like to see in future boxes. So that's a really good way of having your voice and your opinion heard as well. Right, that's all for today. I just wanted to show you what was in the kit this month and talk you through my reasons for ordering and my excitement, really. <laughs> like I say, I get so excited when it arrives and it's like opening a gift, despite having bought it myself. So thank you so much for watching today. If you don't already subscribe, please hit that button and give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Also let me know down in the comments below if you bought this month's box, so either the Ogden cami or the Eve trousers, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and happy sewing. Bye! Now in the Ogden cami pattern, for the different sizes, I think it goes up to seeing... This was a mistake now because Ziggy's rustling that tissue paper. I got some of it back. <laughs>